Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to focus my questions on the rental car safety bill that I introduced with the support of Ranking Member Schakowsky and uh, Congresswoman Capps, H.R. 2198. The companion legislation passed the Senate with bipartisan support as part of the Senate's highway bill and is supported by the rental car industry. Many of them are here today, consumer organizations and General Motors and Honda and others. It would ensure that rental car companies fix recalled vehicles in their fleets before renting or selling them. And so let me ask you, uh, Mr. Administrator, thank you for coming today. Some opponents of the rental car safety legislation have said that rental car companies should be allowed to rent or sell unrepaired, defective, recalled cars unless the manufacturer has specifically issued a do not drive warning. Is there any federal standard for when a do not drive warning must be issued? Thank you for pointing that out because that do not drive is issued by the manufacturer, not NHTSA. So they're determining whether or not the criteria would be to allow that to occur under rental or used car. So that happens extremely rarely. So state again for the record, who decides when such a warning is issued? The manufacturer who has the defect that's been created in the vehicle is the one who determines the do not drive. Okay. Can you give, give us some examples of defects where do not drive warning was not issued by the manufacturer? For example, has any manufacturer issued a do not drive warning for Takata airbags? That would be the example that I would give, given that that is the largest recall in the auto history for sure, and maybe the United States. Uh, there is no do not drive out on any Takata airbag inflator recall. Thank you. That's the point I needed to get into the record, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Are you back?